These scammers get completely destroyed. I know their names, location, call their victims, and delete all their files. A lot of you don't know how these scams work. I'm gonna break it down. They call our email posing as Amazon. Thank you for getting connected with Amazon Prime Services. This is Max Cooper, how can I help you? Yeah, hi Max. Um, I just hit one. There's something about Amazon. The idea is that you've been charged with a Prime subscription and you can either accept the charge or cancel. Okay. And today is an auto renewal day and it will cost you around $39.99. Um, I think I'll cancel, please. For the cancellation, they need to access your computer. How do they do this? By getting you to download remote access applications like AnyDesk, UltraViewer, or TeamViewer. Unfortunately for them, they're connecting to my PC, which is a virtual world where I control everything. Just look at the lower left hand side bottom corner. You can see a, a red color file is getting downloaded, right? <laughs> AnyDex.exe. Yeah, it says AnyDex.exe. Once they give me access to their system, I can find things like scam scripts, accounts, or even victim lists. Here, they had 2,000 folders containing about 7,000 files that we're about to gently remove from their system. Put the page a little bit down. And then what? You need to just fill up the form. All of this information or? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, it yeah. Okay. So you need me to do this Have, now? Are you fill the form, ma'am? Yes. Yes, ma'am. So the scammer is muted. What you're seeing right now is their screen watching hours. One of the cool things too, is if they're using a phone where you can hear audio through their desktop, we should be able to record that as well. So even if they mute us, if the audio is going through this computer, through the desktop, then we should be able to hear it later on down the road, which is kind of cool. So just reconfirm the last four digit of your account number. That is 9118. Is yes. that correct, Teresa? That, that is correct. Okay. All right. So they just exited me out of uh, out of any desk. So he might be a little nervous right now. The scammer that we just destroyed, like his computer's off, his any desk is off, like it's it's done. Also, with this information, we found that the manager of the floor's name is Asif. So we like to throw that name in while we're messing with his scammer buddy Max Cooper. Who is Asif? Uh, that's my server. Oh, okay. So, do you see your ID, the nine-digit ID? Uh, yes, Asif. From... What is Asif saying about this? Anything? No, no, I don't know. Sorry, what what name you heard? A S I F. Okay. Asif. Oh, it's a strange name. Never heard about that. Okay. Back to the scam. Cancellation form filled out. Now it's time for the refund. This is the main part of the scam. So just add forty, four zero. No okay. extra zeros. No dollar signs. Four nothing. zero. Okay. Wait, 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 Teresa. I don't see 40 over there. By any chance, did you put some extra zeros? When filling out the refund of $40, the scammers added zeros at the end right before submitting. This all depends on how much money is in your account. For example, if you had $5,000, the scammers would add two zeros to make it a $4,000 refund. If you had $50,000, they would add three zeros to make it a $40,000 refund. Now I owe $39,960 because of this mistake. 40,000 has been transferred into your checking account. Do, do you see it? Wait, 40,000? I need to figure out what's going on here. You transfer the money. So for that, I'll just give you the account information right away. Okay. okay? So don't say anything to your bank that you are sending money or returning the money to Amazon. So get dressed in the meanwhile, I am on the line because in case if you need any help, I can simply guide you over. Okay, okay? so you need me to do that right now, Asif? Yes, yes. Okay. For smaller amounts of money, the scammers will ask for gift cards. But in this case, they're going to have us do a wire transfer. So we're going to pretend like we're headed to the bank. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be going to get money, but... I am going to let the scammer know that I know exactly where he is, down to the exact building. How long have you been working at Amazon? Me, it's been only two years now. You kind of like work from home, essentially, or do you go to the office? No, I work from uh, from the office. Or what building do you work out also. of? I'm just what What's the name of your building? Like, you know, the <laughs> Genesis building, or the you know the NIAS building, or the Matrix building, right? What building name you said? Right now you said something about Genesis something. Yeah, the Genesis. Um, I, I had a, a brother that worked in a Genesis building. Okay, so they, they work in Amazon you're talking about? Hold on, I'm pulling in here. Hold on one second. Okay.
No, what I was saying was, you're not in the Genesis building because I know they've been having some audio issues. No, I'm not. Okay. All right, so I'm I'm parked outside of my bank. Do you know the name where you need to send the money? The details? Uh, Yes. Uh, Can you just pronounce the name or you can spell it out? Why did you hang up? At this point, they don't care about money. They're spooked. I've been saying their manager's real name. I destroyed their files. And I started calling out their exact building, which is in Kolkata Sector 5. The text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Hello. This is Pierogi. I just wanted you to know that Asif's files are gone. And I just wanted you to know that I know you're in the Godridge Genesis building in Kolkata, West Bengal, India. If you want, there are two options. One, you cannot call me back and we will continue to go after you and expose you and call your victims. Or two, you can call me back and you can help out a victim and you can save your name. You have two options. Call me back and happy Halloween. I know you're watching now, that's why you hung up. You can either call me back or you cannot call me back and we'll continue to expose you because I have some numbers I need to call now from the files. Uh, hi ma'am, um, I just wanted to call you. Has Amazon reached out to you here recently? Yes. Okay, uh, that's a scam. I did not give them any information, those idiots. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so you didn't let them on your computer or anything either? No, so they were asking to get on my computer and I said, well, what is Amazon's number? And they're like, oh, hold on, let me look. Right, okay. I didn't, um, I did not open anything. I did not type in a link for them because they're they're dumb. Okay, good. I'm just making sure because I got your phone number from the scammer's computer today. I assume they called you today. So that's why I was just calling you proactively to make sure that you weren't getting scammed. So I'm glad you did not. It's a lady out of uh, Gainesville, Florida, and uh, she's 63. Hello. Uh, Hi, ma'am. I just wanted to call you because um, Amazon scammers have been contacting you, and I wanted to make sure you did not get scammed by them. Um, I have been, you're, you are correct. I was contacted by them. Um, they were asking, um, about different products or different things that I, they say I ordered and, and I knew I hadn't ordered it. So yes, ma'am. yeah, we, it, it's been an issue. It has. Okay. Did they get on your computer and do anything? Um, no. Okay. So you did not let them access your computer or phone or anything like that? I didn't let them do anything. No, Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, good. Your phone number and your email address was on their computer. So that's why I have your information to call you because I saw that and I just want to make sure you did not get scammed. No, sir. As far as I know, I I, I don't really trust stuff like that. Okay. And I was like, you have to tell me what I ordered. Correct. And he couldn't tell me what I ordered. And I was like, you're full of shit. And that's what I told him. And <laughs> he kind of hung up on me after a few choice words. Okay. And if, if I do come across something, is yes, there ma'am. a way I could contact you? Yeah, for sure. Heck yeah. You can uh, text me on this number or you can call me. Either way, I, I'm always here. Always here to help. Well, you know what? I thank you so much for what you're doing. Somebody <laughs> needs to get back at these little b- that do this stuff. So I talked to the guys that you were talking to. And I removed all the files from one of their computers, like completely destroyed it. And then I oh. knew I knew where they were located and I started telling them where they were and they were not very happy with me. So. Oh, I, I bet. Yeah. Awesome. Well, especially, that, is, that is so cool. Yeah, especially when I was talking like this. So like they thought that I was like <laughs> Teresa, but really. I was me. So. Um, anyway. well, I would have to say you sound like a hot female when you talk like that. So that's really cool. <laughs> what a sweet lady. Very, very sweet. She didn't get ha- uh, hacked or scammed. So that's amazing. Kolkata continues to have raids shutting these call centers down. So kudos. Luckily, none of the people that we called had lost any money, which is amazing. Please remember when you're out there, be safe and don't get scammed. You